Racing isn't a, a thing from my family. Like my father didn't race and my grandfather didn't race. It's, um, you know, my dad just rode uh, for fun, you know, in the trail riding and in the, in the bush on the dirt bikes. But um, I have an older brother, so I think I can um, blame him for the, for the racing. He was always um, pushing my dad to have a bike. And then uh, when I started, he was always making me jump further and jump higher and ride, um, ride faster. So, uh, and then racing started and, you know, I'd always be trying to improve more because I had an older brother who was, who was better than me. So I wanted to try and catch up. I started riding motorbikes, I think I was about six years old. Yeah, I'd have been six year old, so that would have been 1987 I started. I was born in 1981, so I started riding motorbikes in 1987. Um, yeah, and it's just my dad. My dad raced motorbikes. My dad raced the Isle of Man TT for 15 years. Yeah, I suppose that's the whole motorbike thing, though, isn't it? You just go out and ride your bike. That's, that's you're just independent. Yeah, that's, well, I can see what you're saying. Yeah, very independent. But then you go to the TT, and it's not very independent because whoever's built the bike, well, they're involved. When you've got a pit stop, the people in the pit stop are involved. A lot of marshals involved, a lot of other riders involved. So no, it's not just your independence there, but it is just nice to go out and ride your motorbike. That side of it, it's just riding your bike. But then you go and race, a bit of pressure, pressure from yourself to go and to go and win and go and try me out. Yeah, I mean, it's it's difficult for me still to fully understand the the road racing because now I'm only just studying it, I'm learning it, and coming into it as a new as a new thing and new part of my career so um, I don't fully understand every element of the of the road racing but um, <clears throat> being a road user and um, you know having a license and riding on the road gives me a good understanding of of, of what potentially a, a lies ahead of me so um, I'm gonna obviously try and use uh, my experience from the track racing to, um, to the best I can in the roads, but um, the style has to be completely different. You know, the way I ride on the track is very aggressive and um, it's exciting to watch for sure. Fair enough, if, if I wasn't scared, if I, if I didn't have a fear, then you wouldn't do it. You need to, be, you need to, you need to have that bit of fear. If, you know, if, you, if, if, if you're going to, to race a road race, if, if it doesn't scare you, you're in the wrong job. I think, I think, because then you'll take everything for granted and, oh, oh it'll all end, in, all end in tears. Everything is up to you. You're on your own, so um, you feel like you have control of everything yourself and um, if you do a good job, then you take the rewards and if you do a not-so-good job, then you have to accept that you need to improve. 